Turning now to Michigan's reopening and the return to work for a lot of people who've been doing their job remotely. Today, Governor Whitmer gave some details on the relaxed health orders and how they'll play out in work environments. For example, bars and restaurants can now reopen common areas and employers will need a COVID preparedness plan in compliance with CDC guidance. But as Rod Maloney reports, a lot of that is being left to businesses themselves to read up on and figure out. Today, Governor Whitmer was happy to tout the fact that we are getting to the end, light at the end of the tunnel, as she likes to call it. But she also points out that it has been a long 15 months. And you'll remember that ramping up with regulations, particularly the work rules, were a bit bumpy getting started. She said it's going to be a difficult transition going in the other direction. If a business requires masking, for everyone who's entering, we need to recognize they have the authority to do that and to support them and abide by that. Michigan businesses are facing much more uncertainty than that, says Foster Swift employment lawyer Cliff Hammond. The problem is, how do you tell whether somebody has been fully vaccinated? Now, that's not in this my order. Uh, so that's between the employer. Now, how are you going to police it? He also says it doesn't take into account if someone has pre-existing health issues preventing mask wearing, which may run into Americans with Disabilities Act issues. If they have a ADA problem, a disability issue, how do I accommodate them? Can I let them in? Do I have to let them work at home? What's my requirement? What are my obligations? How do I not get cited? How do I not get a fine? It's obvious Myosha is still trying to find answers to those kinds of questions. The governor today saying at a bill signing in a bar that the lawyers are involved, along with a lot of other health advisors, both state and federal. You, you would hope that at some point we have some uh, frequently asked questions. Sometimes they'll come out and clarify it for Myosha, and it just takes time. It's uh, I think some employers are still wanting a little bit more clarity. They're trying to get some more. And there is another shoe that could drop here. The feds, the Occupational Safety and Health Administration is looking at its own version of work rules. And much like with the CDC that threw the state a curveball, they don't want that to happen again. So they're in talks with the feds and also talking with other experts to make sure that if and when more changes come, they'll be ready. Rod Maloney, Local 4.